everybody welcome back my name is Cassie I am the evil secret ninja and today I am doing a review of a curse so dark and lonely by Bridget Kemmerer this book is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast so we have a prince in a kingdom that have been cursed it's a little bit more intense than Beauty and the Beast every season uh, he has the prince turns into a monster and goes on a rampage and obviously he has been wreaking havoc through his kingdom and so he needs to find a girl to fall in love with in order to stop destroying his kingdom. Uh, he has isolated himself from everybody else as much as he can and there's his one guard who's loyal to him who every year comes to our world and kidnaps a girl for him to try and fall in love with. In this one it doesn't quite go the way that it's supposed to. Uh, the bodyguard goes to our world, grabs a girl, but he is his plot is foiled by this by Harper, a girl with cere cerebral palsy, and she tries to say sees him kidnapping this girl and tries to save her and ends up being whisked away to this magical realm. She does not play ball. She does not like this prince and his bodyguard, and continually is trying to escape and run away. Of course, being what it is. This is his last and only chance. If he does not succeed, he will become a beast forever, I believe. Overall, I thought that this was pretty decent as far as like a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast has a lot of things like Stockholm Syndrome and different stuff like that in it. And in this one, uh, Harper, even though she's disabled, she continually like stands up for herself. The prince pretty much just has to follow suit and Harper shows him that it's that maybe uh, he's looking for love in the wrong places and she helps him discover that maybe he loves his people and his kingdom more than he thinks that he does. And of course over years and years and years of him going through this cycle of turning into a beast and everything his his kingdom is really in chaos but because he's isolated himself so much he is not aware of what's going on. So overall, uh, this is like a young adult fantasy retelling and I'll say that it wasn't, there was, there were parts where you thought maybe there's going to be a love triangle, but it turned out that there really wasn't. Let's face it, you have a girl stuck in a, mostly stuck in a castle with two, one of them who's trying to pursue her because he feels like it's the only way to save his life and uh, later decides this is really the only way that I can save my kingdom. Harper who just is like um, I need to be independent I miss my family you know and I want to go home and then maybe finding that in this new world her, she has a different place and she might have a different place and so she's always trying to learn things like how to throw knives or but overall I enjoyed this book pretty good uh, for what it was there's two more books in the series uh, A Heart So Fierce and Broken and this one followed kind of a different group of characters. I didn't enjoy it as much, but it was still pretty good. It was enjoyable enough that I wanted to finish the series. And the, the last one, uh, of also Bold and Deadly. I haven't picked it up yet, but I plan to because I do want to see how it ends. So that is my review of A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Uh, if you like YA, if you like retellings if you like Beauty and the Beast. I think this is a pretty good book to pick up. I mean I went into it knowing there would be a love story but I thought it was actually done okay. It wasn't too annoying and it was more about finding that the prince loved his people and that he wanted to do what was best for them and he wanted to save his people. Okay so that's my review. Um, if you like this video please like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Bye.